Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's solve this problem. So find the values of the other trigonometric functions of theta if cotangent theta is equal to negative 4 over 3 and sine theta is less than 0. So since we have this cotangent theta and this cotangent theta is equal to x over y, and in the given, cotangent theta is negative 4 over 3. So therefore, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3. Then since we have this negative, so therefore, one of this variable is negative. And to find which of the variable is negative, so in a plane, since in quadrant 1, all functions positive, and in quadrant 2, only sine and cosecant positive, in quadrant 3, only tangent and cotangent positive, and in quadrant 4, only cosine and secant positive. So to find which of this variable is negative, so from this condition that sine theta is less than 0, so therefore sine theta is negative. So in a plane, since sine is negative, in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4, then we have this cotangent is negative. So, in quadrant 3, since cotangent is positive, so therefore, theta is in quadrant 4. Then, in quadrant 4, x is positive and y is negative. So, therefore, in the given, y is negative 3. Then, to solve for r, so using this formula that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, then to solve for r, so x is 4, so we have 4 squared plus y is negative 3, so negative 3 squared. Then r squared equals, so this 4 squared, 16 plus negative 3 squared, that's 9. Then we have r squared equals, so this 16 plus 9, that's 25. Then to solve for r, take the square root. So r equals, so since r is the hypotenuse and r is always positive, so r always positive, so therefore r is equal to positive 5. So, to find now the other trigonometric functions, so we have x equals 4, y is negative 3, and r equals 5. So, to find sine theta, so since sine theta is equal to y over r, so therefore sine theta is negative 3 over 5. Then for cosine theta, since cosine theta is x over r, so x is 4 and r is 5, so that's 4 over 5. Then for this tangent theta, so tangent theta is y over x, so y is negative 3 and x is positive 4, so tangent theta is negative 3 over 4. Then since the given is cotangent theta, so let's have this second theta. So since second theta is just the inverse of cosine theta, so this one is r over x, so r is 5 and x is 4, so second theta is 5 over 4. And this cosecant theta, so cosecant theta is just the inverse of sine theta. So we have r over y. So r is 5 and y is negative 3 or that's negative 
5 over 3. So these are the remaining trigonometric functions.